Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about local file inclusion now. Local file inclusion is where certain files from the local file system get included, but as an attacker we might be able to manipulate them in certain ways. Now, I've got a beautiful one right here because as you can see I've got the most beautiful image in front of me I could imagine, and if I actually try and mess with this a little bit like you know you guys know all of the attack factors because it's getting an image but there is nothing stopping it from getting the etc password file and there is nothing stopping it from getting the test.txt file now to program this is not easy i had to pull some tricks up my sleeve uh, like some if else statements which I really didn't want to write, but it's once you get to know these vulnerabilities, you realize that when you see images being rendered or local file inclusion, it gets a bit harder to render files, to render other files, and especially if functionality is custom built to run their images, it might not be able to render other files like PHP attack files that you've been able to put on there, for example. So uh, just a quick intermezzo about local file inclusion that I want to show you guys. Now you also know what it is. What I'm doing here with these dot dot slash dot dot slash is I'm trying to directory drivers. And even if I'm already in a root directory, it doesn't really matter because it's not going to do anything at that point. And then I'm trying to grab the etc password file. Now there might be some filters in place and stuff like that, but that's a topic for a video, a whole other video. I'd like to thank you guys very much for listening to me, watching me stumble here and create some laboratories which took way too long to create. If you want, the link will be in the description because this is not a permanent link and I will see you in the next one. Bye amazing hackers!